Physical construction work is hard, tiring, and at times extremely dangerous, but can wearable tech that monitors the health of the workforce minimize the likelihood of work-related injuries and fatalities? I'm Oscar Russo, and joining me on Construction Week in Focus with all the answers is Neha Bachia. Neha, wearable tech seems to be something more synonymous with Silicon Valley executives than the construction workforce. Um, but does it have a functional purpose that could be relevant for this industry? Absolutely. Um, it is wearables are gaining traction across the world, across industries. Um, we're looking at smart glasses, we're looking at smart helmets, we're looking at cooling vests. Um, these technologies are here to stay. Um, they will they will find more takers across the world. They will find more takers in the Middle East. So there is a certain sense of fashion associated with it, which mm -hmm. is not a bad thing at all. But the functionality is something that contractors especially, but also developers and consultants, subcontractors are going to find a lot of um, applications for. Now, and I think you've touched on two really important points there with wearable tech. The first is that there are some instant benefits to be gained there. Secondly, the long-term benefits of improving or being able to improve the health of the workforce moving forwards. But what examples are there? Are there any examples in the Middle East of companies using wearable tech in this field? There are um, some firms, especially in the FM sector, that are using it. Um, for instance, there's Khan Sahib, there's Farnek. These companies have, in the past at least, um, been known for using smartwatches to track the health of their workforce, to keep tabs on them while they're working, to ensure this two-way communication. Um, we don't know of any examples in the construction industry, but we would welcome your feedback on this, um, obviously because when, we, when you look at the health and safety aspect of construction, when you look at all the investments that contractors, developers, and consultants make to make sure that their workforce is healthy, um, smart tech and wearables especially are going to play a huge role in that process. They, they reduce the, the time it takes really to track your workers' uh, well-being. It makes it easier to keep logs. So there are, like you said, long-term benefits mm -hmm. to it. We just need to make sure that we're capitalizing on them as the technology evolves and sort of um, becomes smarter. Yeah, and that's a really valid point, I think, as well, moving forward, the need to capitalize on this technology. I mean, you look at some of the examples of wearable technology, like wearable glasses with an overlay, so you could walk onto a construction site and you can see a 3D model of the entire project. And that's kind of quite revolutionary, almost, to be able to walk into an unbuilt construction site and look at everything moving forward and walk around it. So that's, like you said, capitalizing on that technology as it continues to grow is going to be kind of more important moving forwards for companies and they may already be doing it. So it's one area that we should certainly be watching moving forward. So thank you for your insight, Neha. Uh, you've been watching Construction Week in Focus. We hope you've enjoyed watching it. Uh, remember, we publish new videos at 9am every Tuesday. Um, if you liked it, please remember to share it with your friends. Uh, until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.